This is part four of lab one, and it's about four bar link mechanism. The four bar linkage is the simplest movable closed chain linkage. It consists of four links connected in a loop by four joints. In order to uh, understand this, we also need to talk about the Gershoff criteria. The Gershoff criteria for a four bar linkage states that if the sum of the shortest and longest link of the four bar linkage is less than or equal to sum of the remaining two link, then the shortest link can rotate fully with respect to neighboring link. This will be co covered intensively in the lecture of this course and we're going to apply it here as well. So let's go to the apparatus. There are two rotating uh, cranks here. This one is the input crank. This is the output crank. And we're going to connect the, uh, them together with the connecting rod here. So this is going to be here. And also this going to be here. So as I turn this, the other one will turn. So why this is called four ball linkage? Because there are four components involved in this mechanism. Obviously the first one is the ground or this back plate. Second one is the input. Third one is the connector. And the fourth one is the output. The procedure says that assemble the four ball link with an input crank length of 20 millimeters. So again, from the zero to the first one is 20 halfway between i tighten this so this is at 25. a connecting rod or coupler of 170 millimeters from the first center of center to this one is 170 millimeters so how do we do that from center to center is 10 millimeters and the follower crank or the output crank is 90 millimeters so from center here to the, all the last the pin here is 90 millimeters so turn the first one, input to zero. So we are zero here. And note the output angle. So the output angle for me for this apparatus is around 25. Turn the input crank in 20 degree increments, noting the follower crank angle. So again, 20 here, read here. 40, read here, 60, read, all the way until it reach. Now we are 180, 200, 240, 280, all the way to 360. Record your readings in a tabular format of the input crank angle and output crank angle and you're going to use this data for the post lab uh, analysis.